Right, can everyone hear me? Can everyone hear me? One sec. Is it live now? Sorted. Sorted. Right, can everyone hear me? Yeah. Right, sorted. All right, Mark, Shaz, Louise, Grant, Moxley. <laughs> Got Dark Vamp, Shannon. Got Donna. Let's have a look. One sec. Who else have we got? Shaz. Load and clear. Shows your phone. Hang on a minute, mate. They're on the line. They're on the line washing. They're on the line. Right, so guys, listen. Let's see if there's any more Ming's in. Let's see if any more comes in. All right, Ming. All right, Night Arcs. Hey, Baldy. <laughs> Do you know what? It's mad. It's mad doing a live. All right, so we've got a few in there, haven't we? We've got 13 in. Incredible old cup. Right, so we've got quite a few in there, haven't we? Let's give it a few more seconds. The Ninja Warrior. How are we doing? Right. So, guys, listen. Night, I'll be right back. So, all right, Wayne, how are we doing? Welcome in. Got a little few a few little topics. CQ. All right, bird. Hi, ninjas. Fling a dart at the dartboard. Oi, that's why it's here. That's why it's here. So what I do, I just look and I go, right, we're going. Let's see what's up here. And then we find some locations. Then. So I'll right, we'll just have to see a few more come in. We've got quite a few in there. We've got like 15 in there. If you can see up there, a few little channel members. Got Mark, got Patty, Shaz, Michelle, Sian. Hello, Sian. Sian Lee. Right, guys. So I thought it's been over just over six months now, yeah, since I started posting videos on YouTube. So what I thought is. There's no better way to do a live and show you guys who I am, what I'm really about. So you can get to know me. Got quite a few in there. SG Phil. See, because it's only small, I'm missing a few people. Right, so yeah, as mentioned, I thought I'd start with, I'll introduce myself. So yeah, as it's been six months, and hello, Dirt Bump. As it's been six months and we're going to tell you, yeah, we're good. Can you hear me? Yeah. Right. So as it's been six months and I've started posting videos to YouTube and I thought, what better way to do a live so you can, I can introduce myself better than you know who I am. So you can ask me some questions, but at first I'll talk about myself and how I started. So when I was growing up as a child, I was about three year old. There was, I, I saw this girl called Ariel, this girl in a white dress. And ever since, ever since I was a child and then growing up, I used to see her all the time. And so I knew that I've always had a connection with the paranormal and I could always see things or hear things differently than other people could. 
quite a few, didn't I? So yeah, I knew I knew I was different anyway when I was growing up. And um, so this girl, this girl Ariel in the white dress, spirit guide perhaps. Maybe, maybe Sianne, I'm not too sure. A lot of people say there's things around me. So as I was growing up and I used to see her when I was like three and then I'm like five and eight. And then my mum moved into this property that turned out to be a morgue for the church across the road. And when I got with Catherine, CQ Nails and Muta, like 14 years ago now, one night I got up and I went into the kitchen and I was eating food and it was a three-story house. So it must have been about, hi Don. It must have been about two o'clock in the morning. And my mum used to have a kitchen and then a dining room and then a living room and it was three stories high. So I'm sat there at the fridge eating a, eating a yogurt or whatever I was eating at the time. I used to wake up in the middle of the night a lot. And then I saw her stood at the dining room, stood, stood at the dining room doors. So I thought it was Catherine. So I said to Catherine, do you want something to eat or do you want something to drink? And she she, she like never answered me. So I said like, hey, do you want something to eat? I thought it was, it was Catherine who come down and it weren't. When I looked at her, she literally has black hair and she has a white dress on. I see, I still see her now. I've seen a bit, I've seen her recently as well. And she just disappeared into, into like the doors. It was mad. And then I went upstairs, went upstairs. As, you, as I was getting up for work in the morning, I got home and I spoke to Catherine. I said, Caff, are you coming staying over? Because I was living at my mum's end. I was only like 20 then. So I was living at my mum's end. And she remember saying something like, Listen, I have to tell you something. I'll go, on, go on then. She went, I saw a girl last night in a white dress crouched down at the side of the bed. I was like, huh? She went, yeah, she was like looking at you like face to face. I was like, oh my God. So then I knew she, she, it, it was like, it was real. She, I could, I've seen her all my life. But my mum's house used to be a morgue, yeah. So I used to see a lot of things. Uh, I've seen like a little boy running across a landing. Um, I've seen all sorts. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen quite a lot of stuff growing up. <coughs> so got into the paranormal i always knew i was different i met jason and vicky as well from haunted stories and investigations and she told me instantly she went you've got a cheeky spirit around you told me his name and he was called jack now jack turned out to be my mum's mum's mum husband his brother and he was called jack and I saw my granddad as well before he, before I was even born when I when I was when I was like I never met him so when I was like three year old four year old I remember seeing him and pointed out to me nan on a picture I said that's him and she couldn't believe it so she knew I was different as well and it turned out my nana and her her mum used to be like tea leaf readers is what they call them so that's what got me into well that's what that's that's how I knew I was different anyway so when I when I got older and I started exploring and going in these buildings. And then they got like, you could, I could hear things and see things moving. That's when I thought, all right, I start videoing it for you guys. And I've been doing it now for, so I've been putting the videos on now for six months. You all right? I've been putting the videos on now for six months and I've had nothing but amazing compliments, honestly. <laughs> honestly, this is why I set up. Sorry if I missed anyone coming in the live, guys. But well, this is why I set up that MPA UK TV family so we could all get in there and then you could obviously post all your stuff, get to know who I was, things like that. But yeah, that's how I started getting into paranormal. And then my first video that I ever put on, my first video that I ever put on was Ivy Cottage. I went to Ivy Cottage, we found it. It was close to Catherine's CQ Nails and Beauty. It was close to Catherine's mums and dads so nobody really knew about it and it was it was a building that was 500 year old and and had Oliver Cromwell stayed there a few other people so I decided I'm going up that was my first that was my first one that I did on video and in that property I caught a woman named Mrs Cox all right Gerda welcome in so yeah so I caught a woman on camera called Mrs Cox and that's how I got into the papers then. And turns out some of the local people, like the locals who live near there, they actually have a picture of this woman. Welcome back, Night Ox. Just had his um just had his tea. So 
that's how I got into the paper anyway. And that is how it got like really going for me, like a, it catching them. Obviously, I could see them. I've seen spirits. I've seen them all my life. Not like all the time, but I see, I've seen them. I've seen them quite a lot when I was growing up as well. And to give you guys like absolute evidence and proof that there is um, there is spirits and that you can communicate. And then I caught them on camera. I've spoke to them with, you know, like the machines and stuff. And the, the answer, honestly, it's unreal. So I do know that that um, it was worth it was worth getting them videos done and showing you guys, so you could you can see it yourself. I also take the kids to places as well, to history places. So we do history tours, do a bit of camping and I do kayaking as well. So I kind of mix it up as well, so you not get you don't get bored. And um, you can see different places. So when I travel all over the UK with um, with different different people, Moxley, with Night Art, with Ming, um, Haunted Stories, loads of different ones. When I meet up with them as well, um, we go all over the UK and we do we just do haunted abandoned buildings. We like if if they have got well known stories for for history and for for hauntings, yeah, we'll go. That's what we like. A lot of people, a lot of people can't get out there. So, so yeah, Smivels, yeah, Smivels was mint when, honestly, listen, Smivels is really good. My, um, Catherine's family live not far away, so we did a little history tour there. We've done Salmsbury as well. That's another one. Um, we've done quite a few, but yeah, like I said, I take, I take them everywhere. I take you everywhere because a lot of people can't get out. People message me and said, yeah. I loved how you, how you went there. You got I got Wales. I'll try to take Scotland or wherever I could possibly go. Then you guys get to see the whole of the UK as well. Doesn't make sense for me to go and not video it, does it? So I'm back. Had to nip. <laughs> he's been Moxie's got a new electric scooter, electric bike. So he's he's up and down. He's a, he's early now on his bike, going to the shop, nipping to the shop, and that for his drinks for his Monster Energies and Mox. So yeah, so that that's that's kind of like how I got started. Sorry if I keep twitching, I'm a bit nervous. But that's how, kind of how I got started. And um, obviously having past experiences and things like that. It's a bit shit that I can't actually talk to you. I'm talking to a screen and reading some of it. Change your light angle, mate. I'm getting blinded with reflection. I don't really know what to do, mate. Got the blinds up. I can see myself on camera here. I've got my phone at side as well, so I can see myself here. Might just be my bald head, because my bald head is a little bit reflecting in it. I can see it. <laughs> been polishing it. New name for Mox, Nippy. He's been cheeky. So yeah, like I said, that's how I got started. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about as well. I've got like a, a few places that I've been I've been doing and looking at and a few videos. So I didn't like I didn't want to just jump on a live and then you you start asking me questions. I actually wanted to give you a little bit about me as well and what I've got planned and what we've got coming up and certain things like that. So. I've been doing asylums, um, abandoned pubs, but not just abandoned pubs, pubs with murders, pubs with history. One of these pubs has a lady that got, it was recent as well. It was recent. Her 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 ex-partner took her back to the, took her back to the, enticed her back there or whatever, and, um, and chopped her up. <laughs> so... People have actually seen, actually like been and done things there, work or whatever, and seen the, what they reckon is a lady going past them in, in the shadows and stuff like that. So that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I've got, like I said, I've got abandoned asylums. I've got asylums. Um, we've got morgues. We're camping at morgues as well. We've got episodes with morgues, camping morgues. Uh, I've got forests, camping forests, camping in, in haunted forests. I've actually got another forest that, to go and take you. It was one of my first my first proper forest that I did actually and it has I don't know Phil it's a crazy story it has um 300 men 300 men and boys that died there but there's there's also other reports and I've actually seen things and friends have actually seen things growing up because we because we're from around there so I know that and I've seen people's pictures as well people have been up there and took pictures. Yeah, they, honestly, I think I think outdoor investigations are like a better if you get a good forest, and it has got like activity of like the thousands of years old. Some places are, are, do have actual hauntings. They do actually have them. Like they've also got like Bigfoot, 
wildcats. You know, people have seen soldiers in these like woods, um, miners. I know, I will do. Well, I might buy the old one, a few mocks now. Now you've got like, you know, you might have a new one. But um, yeah, imagine guys setting it up at night. This is my plan. Setting up at night, some night vision. Tents up, take mocks, take night out, take, take, the, take the boys or whatever. Get the tent set up, get some night vision. Get some investigation done. Take some pictures and see really right what happens. I wouldn't mind going to Canuck. Jay, have you done Odd Soul Hall? Jay, I love doing the outdoors. Not yet, Wayne, but Catherine has. She takes it. She took the kids when I couldn't go. Um, so she's actually got pictures and videos and stuff, but she keeps asking me to go, so I'll definitely go there. What I usually do is go on a Sunday with the kids, uh, be a comedy. Um, so yeah, so we, we take the kids and stuff like that. Um, Ming, Ming, you could come as well, do a bit of camping. I've got some, it's a massive woods, you you would get lost, but it's got a lake on it as well. And they, they, they've seen a, a white lady. Um, yeah, another one, cemetery investigations. I've got some of them coming up as well, Mark. I was actually going to thinking of doing a like a graveyard se series, so that'd be pretty good. Um, carry on paranormal camping, yeah, that'd be funny. That well, that's it, isn't it? It's, it's, a, it's not just about, like, obviously, as long as you get good communication, good evidence, and, you know, it's you have a laugh as well. You've got to take care of each other. Not, you can't, a lot of people think, oh, yeah, going on these places on their own. But it's not like that if something ever happens to you. Like, people falling through roofs and stuff. So you, you have to take people with you. It's always the safest bet. Like, we've been in buildings where they've had... Like homeless, you know, like me and Moxley went to a place not long ago and there was like six six lads in there smashing it up. We didn't do who they were. We was in the middle of nowhere. It's a crazy place. So, yeah, I thought I'd, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about that. Also, um, got a podcast coming. We're setting that up. So that should be on in a couple of weeks or in a week. It should be ready. We're going to be doing it in here in the conservatory. Hello, dude, Donna. Thank you. So, yeah, we're going to be doing it in the conservatory. We've got a new podcast called The Dark Room. So we could talk about everything, all dark stuff, paranormal stuff, ghosts, everything. Over, bring other channels on, get other channels on so we can chat to them. So we can um, we can interview them, see what they've got going on as well, have a proper laugh. It's not just about that. We can have a laugh as long as we talk about paranormal and um, Bigfoot and all sorts of stuff. That's, you know, listen, everything. We just chilled outside waiting for them. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, but... Still scary though, Mox. <laughs> it was still scary though, because we didn't know who they were. All we could hear was them smashing them up. Exactly. That's another thing as well. So if we did talk about podcast, if we did, when we do set the podcast up, sorry, which is uh, we've been working on, so that should be up next week. We can talk about investigations that we've been doing, talk about anything anything to do with paranormal, what's coming up. We can bring other channels on. Um, but... You know what we know what me and Mox like. We don't talk. We're we're proper, aren't we? So we we we're not we don't talk shit. We just give you what you want. So that'll be good. Um, do you believe in life after death and reincarnation? Here we go. He's been googling. He's been googling questions. The boy has. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I believe. Um, yeah, I do. Yeah, I believe. You do reincarnate. I believe my kids are a reincarnation. I've been told that as well because they they act differently. They act like really like different. It's hard to explain, but they do things like that. People have said they're reincarnations of your of your past life, of your of past family members and stuff. No Google, mate. They're gonna knock you and you're. Like, um, but yeah, I do. I do believe in reincarnation. Yeah, I also believe that I always get a robin outside my window. It sits on the fence all the time, but only when I talk about people. So when I talk about uh, family members or something like that, I'll get a robin that comes and sits on the window or sits on the fence and just stirs it through the window. So I believe that, as Shad just said then, I believe that they could be old souls or um, somewhere that they could, they can use that bird to to actually, you know, they can use their spirit or their soul or whatever it is, their energy to to and, and manipulate that bird so they can sit outside and like, look through the window. I don't know what it is, but every time I... Every time I talk about spirits, then I always believe they, they always the the little Robin always comes. Yeah, no, Mark. Yeah, I need to come and visit you as well, Mark. 
keep saying about this symmetry. I need to come up and have a look, don't I? Yeah, Rob, I, I do believe it. I, reincarnation is very real. It definitely is. And I do believe that Robins, the bird, the Robins, do have something to do with the spirits. I really do. But um, I believe when, <clears throat> it's really hard to explain it, isn't it? But I believe when you see the light, so I believe that when you when you do see the light, when you when, when they say you see the light, you are coming out to a new new world. You're like a baby. Boom. You you obviously don't have the same thing because your memories aren't there. Because that'd be mad if your memories were, if because you because when when people have died, they've weighed the bodies after they've died, and they reckon that twelve point five gram is and every one of them's left. So they reckon the soul does actually weigh weight. And I do believe when you see the light, you come out and you're you're a baby. Maybe you're a baby and you go boom. That's it. You've got a new life and certain things that you do, like um, what they call them when you, when you have like a, what's it called there? A deja vu. That could be something that you've done in your, your past life. Um, and I also feel like when people feel like they, they belong somewhere else, I, I believe I belong in Canada for some reason. I feel like I've got a connection to Canada. I don't know what that is, but that's a bit mad. I always had that. I've always wanted to live in Canada. What else is there? What have we got? My, my granddad used to have a Robin. Come and see him. Yeah, my, as soon as my nana died, Dark Vamp, um, I used to get a Robin on the fence all the time. It was weird. It was just literally sit there. And then my other nana died. And then that Robin started to come in the other house. So, but um, deja, that's it, Catherine. Deja vu. So, yeah, when you get, I, I think when you get a deja vu, when you have a deja vu, maybe you've lived it before. Oh, you can read the future because that would be bad, wouldn't it? They always think that. I think, you, can, have you done it before? Or are you reading the future? Or are you making the future? You know what I mean? What else is there? So, any questions that you want to ask me? <laughs> Apart from what underwear I'm wearing, Moxley. Would I do an investigation in fancy dress? Mate, listen, I would love it. That's what bring that's what look like, that's what brings a community together, doesn't it? When everybody's having a laugh, getting together and uh, doing some investigations. I'll dress as um Phil Mitchell of EastEnders. I don't even need to dress as him. <laughs> what else have we got here? Yeah, oh Mark, yeah, listen. I need to go to Liverpool and come and see you. Because uh, that 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 graveyard would be really good for sure. What else have we got? So just have a quick look. Yeah, the SLS. Right, I got I got the SLS and my phone flips out into a big phone. So it's like it's hard work. And I like putting it on a tripod. Like I've got I've got the phone on a tripod here now, but um but it's a bit different. It's a bit different when it's on your SLS. Like it you can't press all the buttons on it. So really, I should have got like a cheaper a little phone and then put it on there. Shaz, oh yeah. Shaz, we need to go to York, don't we? Me, Calf, Shaz, need to meet up and go to York. Yeah, do you know what, Louise? Since I met these, you can't find, I'll, I'll be straight with you. Since I met um, Moxley and Nighthawk and Ming and, and Haunted Stories and and, and and others, I you know you, you you know when you're like somebody's not right. You know what I mean. You know when people are just doing things for the sake of doing whatever. But you can't meet better people than them. You really can't. I, I get a really good connection. Um, we have a laugh. We get some good information. We get some good activity, and. Um, yeah, you, I've, I've, I've made friends, and obviously we talk. We talk now every, every day. We message each other every day. If I'm going anywhere, I always say to the boys, "Do you want to? Do you want to go?" Or ask them, or they'll ask me, or whatever. So yeah, yeah, definitely. Ming, honestly, I've had, like I said, since I met you guys, I've I've done nothing but um, I've done nothing. I've had I've had I've had more smiles on my face recently than uh than anything the past six months since doing youtube videos has been absolutely amazing it's right a lot of people get stressed a lot of people get depressed um but for me going out doing the videos 
because it takes so much time. I've <laughs> been dancing. Oh yeah, that, remember that night arc. But yeah, it takes so much. It takes so much time to do things that I don't. I, like it doesn't stress me. It's it's an absolute passion for me doing YouTube videos, um, going out there, finding seeing places that other people would dream of seeing, and then catching paranormal activity because that's what I'm all about. That's what's in my blood. I've, I've been like this since a kid, and um, obviously meeting friends and then exploring in the UK. But people people don't understand. YouTube don't pay you guys. Listen, YouTube does not pay you a lot of money. It either pays it doesn't pay anything. So when most people go out and do this thing, we do it for passion. I do it because of passion. I love it. It's something that is just, once I started doing this, I knew I was on the right path. And then I met you guys and I've, I've been happy ever since. Like I've actually had a connection with you a lot. I've been talking to you a lot through Facebook and through, through YouTube. I've got channel members, man. I've got channel members who support me. This is, it's, it's amazing, honestly. It's the biggest. It's it's such a big thing to me. It's unreal. Like I couldn't believe it. Like this is what keeps me going. But like I said, don't pay you much, man. I've, I've you don't get nothing. I've had parking tickets that cost me 120 quid to go do the location. You don't get nothing. But like I said, do it because of passion. I love it, and I love showing you guys videos. And you couldn't you couldn't go anywhere else. How many people can say they've been to these places all over the UK? It's you can't you can't. So so yeah. That's why I like doing that. But I love I love you guys being able to see different places. And the kids, my kids can watch it on TV as well. They love it. Um, yeah, there's no rush. There's no rush to join. I just really appreciate everyone that has joined. It means a lot. It does. It really does. Um, but like I said, YouTube don't pay you loads of money, so... I do it because of passion and I do it for, for you lot. I don't do it for the views. I just literally do it because it's a passion. I started posting the videos and people started like messaging me and, and giving me loads of good compliment uh, comments and stuff like that. And then when obviously when I was going through the comments as well, I was like, you know what? Because it's nervous at first when you put a video on. Everybody's scared of what people think of people. or uh, Most people are. So I was like, I'm going to post this video. What are people going to start saying and stuff like that? But honestly... That's what baby carry on. The the kids, my missus, meeting the, these new people, and then obviously all the comments and stuff. I just it it made me like, you know what, this is proper for me. It made me feel homely as well. And like I said, it's it's in my blood to catch, to get communication for spirits. It's what I've been doing since a kid. Oh, Charles, yeah, honestly, I really do love it. It's hard to read these little comments on here. Shaz, listen, it's my escape. Going to them caves and going to these massive churches and these these massive libraries, it's an it is an escape because I I take I take my mind off everything. Literally, I, it takes my mind off everything. We can spend um, us boys can spend like five six hours in there from seven o'clock till three o'clock in the morning, showing every little bit we can, and then doing a paranormal investigation, and then we get home at like three in the morning and we can't sleep. Yeah, adrenaline rush. Honestly, you can't sleep. Danny, when I've been in investigation, I cannot sleep. Honestly, mate, listen, you saw like rushing and all that stuff. Like me and Mox was in one other week in Liverpool and it was just terrifying. It was like two o'clock in the morning. Gangs outside on these electric bikes ready for us and everything. Oh, it was like, it was terrifying. And your adrenaline's going. So, so yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely different. And then I get home and then you've got to edit for like something like I'm new to editing guys. So um, I'm getting better at it. But it takes me hours. It, like a video could take me 12 hours more, 16 hours. And then I've got the kids as well jumping all over me. So I'm trying to trying to do it in between. So sometimes I miss things. <coughs> Thanks, Gainer. Hey, Mox. Pigeon situation. There's a lot of pigeons, man. Mox attracts them. What did he, uh, what did he have? He, he bought, did he set that pigeon on, Mox? I can't remember. But yeah, in, in the videos as well, you've got to have a little laugh. You've got to have a little laugh because if we didn't, we'd just be like serious all day. That's the kid banging on the window. We'd just be serious all day. And um, it'd, be, it'd be petrifying for seven hours in a building, just like, it's petrifying, you know. So you've got to like try and help each other out because people are nervous and like, they're good. Yeah. So people, people are like, you get nervous going in these buildings. You don't know who's in them. Homeless could be in them. Anybody could be in them. 
So, um, so yeah, you've got to like make each other laugh, you know, because it's terrifying. It really is terrifying, and people don't understand like what we do. <laughs> it's not. It's not nice. We turn up to clean the location. Oh yeah, yeah, Mark, you did that, didn't you? Percy the pigeon. That was it, Mox. Yeah, def mate. Listen, definitely. Do you know what? Editing a video, guys. Listen, even if you just did a video of your dog or your kids or whatever, anything, and put it together and have a look at it. Honestly, it is so therapeutic when you sit there and you're doing it. It really is. It's 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 you go into your own world. That's a fun. There you go. That's something to talk about on the uh, podcast night, huh? Yeah, Chaz. Um, not really. I'm not. I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, a lot of people don't go in these places like in video like we do because they're scared. Um, no worries, Wayne. Because they're scared, but we're not. We're not bothered. We don't break in them, so we. Uh, like I said, they're abandoned. They've got history, and they're known for hauntings and lot and, and stuff like that. So, so we'll go. If we can't get in, we can't get in. But um, no, I'm not scared. If if we get caught, we get caught. I don't think we'll go to prison for videoing. Well, I thought so. You don't know, do you? You don't know. Let's have a look. T-shirt coming soon. Take care, Wade. Yeah. See you later, Wade. Thanks for coming in, mate. That, but yeah, listen, honestly, I think, like I said, that um, YouTube don't pay you a lot of money, but you can make money off it, like, through other things. That's how other people do it, I think. They'll set, like, a companies up on the side and do other stuff like that and try and get, like, you know, you got to make a brand, don't you, for yourself, that kind of thing. But as long as you keep them going, keep them motivated, keep, them, keep, keep making sure that he does the right things and push him, and he'll go really far in it. And then, obviously, it becomes a passion and... You know what happens when you when you do something you love, it becomes your life then, doesn't it? Um yeah, cemeteries are definitely good. Yeah, it does take balls, mate. Like Moxley went into what did he go to Amityville on his own? Mate, that was it takes balls, mate. It really does take balls because that is in the middle of a field, in the middle of nowhere. Then you're going in and you don't know who's in there if somebody's decided to pitch up. Or whatever you don't know, it's it's terrifying. It really is. So you do have to like, you do have to have some big big testicles and be very careful in it. But it's just what we do. People ask us to do it, so people say, "Yo, Luke, have you seen this place? Have you seen this place?" Straight away, I look the history up and I'm off. That's how it works, isn't it? We get caught. My name's Mickey Mouse. Yeah, I've got a fake ID now, called Phil Mitchell. So I'm sweet. They won't know who I am. Phil. He just trains and planes. Do you know what? That is a big thing in the UK. It really is. Trains and planes. There's like loads of people video it right now, don't they? I see them all the time because I don't live far from the airport. Bite size. The paranormal has taken over my life. Mark, you're in every week. Listen, mate, I can't fault you. You are in every single week. There's quite a few in it. Shaz is in, Gain is in, Mark's in, Donna's in. They're all in. This is this this is why I thought, what's the point to this this time putting an episode on you and going sitting in the live in the premiere, chatting to you like what if I chatting to you like this on the thing when I could actually talk to you and you could see me and see what I'm like then. So yeah, that helps. So when, have we got any questions? Do you want to ask me any questions? Well, we've got 25 minutes left before we head over to Moxley's to watch his episode. Yeah, Mark, I forgot that I mentioned before. Yeah, your T-shirts. Your T-shirts ready this week, mate. Hi, Sugar. Thanks for joining. Who would I like to collab with? Hmm. Do you know what? I like to club with people who I'm, I'm I'm just a genuine guy. I don't want I don't want to collab with people who are sly, who who would I'm just not that kind of guy. I'm I'm just not in it for that. So I would like to I wouldn't mind collabing with Shut Paranormal. 
because obviously she's friends with with us all. Um, I don't mind doing like uh, a collab with Fort Spooky as well. Um, Explore Beyond, um, Adam Mark. Yeah, they're all good. I've done I've done I've done a few now, but like I said, I just like to. I talk to them. I talk. I talk to Fort Spooky and Amy, and they're really nice people. So yeah. I'd like to collab with them. And uh, there is a few of us. But I can't off the top of my head right now. Can't think. Let's have a look. What kit have I got? So I've got, not with me right now, but I'm pretty old school. I'm pretty old school. I have a REM pod. I have a K2 meter. I have a SP7 spirit box. I have a temperature gauge. Um, I have a couple of apps on my phone. I have quite a bit of gear, to be honest with you, but I don't take it all out because sometimes when I go to these places, um, I like to take the basic stuff because sometimes when I go to these places, literally last-minute decisions, if if I know that it's open and people want to see it, like I'll, I'll go I'll go straight away and just chuck a few things in the bag. Yeah, Haunted Finders are cool as well. They're so funny, you know. They really are. Have I ever... Um, I thought I was talking to Phil Mitchell. <laughs> you know what? That's, listen... That's my new name. Just call me Phil from now on. It doesn't matter. I'm happy. Um, let's have a look. Uh, right, bad, like, bad energy. Um, I'm not too sure. Do you know what? I'm not too sure because I do actually things around me. I could literally be sat here now. Um, this is this happened since being a kid as well. So I could literally sit here now just randomly and like the couple move or the candle move or I've had phones jump off the side and stuff like that. Um, wash baskets jump off the side in the other in other houses. It just depends, but I don't think I've ever brought anything bad home from um, from anywhere yet. Plus, I always do a little prayer, and I have my spirit pack, what I got from Haunted Stories and Investigations. They give me a little... They give me a little spirit pack. Um, have I ever been to a location and didn't want to go? All oh, right, let's have a look here. Hang on, hang on. Let me catch up. Let me catch up. Have you ever taken any bad energy? What dark vamp? My only finders. What's your favourite piece of equipment? Do you know what? I like, I like the REM pod. I like the REM pod. Like, I pick things up anyway, don't I? Like, your six senses. When you when you go into these places, the longer you go in them, you pick your six senses up, yeah? So you start hearing these things, and, like, you can see shadows that not always going to catch like, on camera, and people go, oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, listen, we, you do. It's different when you've got odd eyes. It's different. It really is. Once your six senses pick up, you're um, you can you can hear see things. So I like the REM pod because when it goes off, it it, it means something has to make it go off. It's something something has to make it go off. Physically touches it to make it go off. That's 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 one of my favorite pieces. But I like the, the I like the spirit box. I like my spirit box. Um, let's have a look. Have you ever been to a location and didn't want to go in? Yeah, the one near you, Mark. The one near you when there was like 15 lads outside at three o'clock in the morning with Bally Clivers on. <laughs> and, uh, and they're all on electric bikes. And then when we came outside, we came outside and uh, one of them started walking over and said something to us. So Moxley straight away said, well, I don't know. I don't even know what happened, but the lad didn't, didn't hang around for long anyway. He, he was pretty gone. He was gone fast. But it was it was late in the morning. That that was a, that was a that was a place I didn't really want to go in. What's the scariest thing that's happened to you, Catherine? You pretty much no more. You pretty much no more. To be honest with you, don't you? Um, do you know one day? Not, not I want to like scariest thing. More than anything, I got chased off an Alsatian. Yeah, when I was a kid, right? And. Yeah, that was the more terrifying thing. It wasn't even paranormal. That was a dog. That was a dog. I've got, well, while we're talking about paranormal, so the scariest thing that ever happened to me, Calf, because you was there, was when I was lying in bed and something grabbed my leg and literally dragged me out of bed. Well, it dragged me like three foot down the bed, didn't it? That was the scariest thing that ever happened to me that night. That was that was terrifying, literally. It grabbed hold of my leg and dragged me like three foot out of the bed. And the worst thing is, you can't see anything. There's nobody there, but you can feel their hands on your leg. And I was just in bed, and Kathy was inside of me with your calf, CQ. And um, it just literally, it was just, I felt it go, I felt like the cold hands got my leg. And I thought, oh, 
and then it went woof and pulled me and oh man it was it was it was it was terrifying it really was that that day i would never forget never but a lot of things i think i think most times that i've seen like spirits apart from obviously when i got dragged most times i've seen spirits they're quite shocking because i don't expect them you just don't expect them they're just there when you when you don't expect them. That's the maddest thing. You could be down at night, coming downstairs at night, could be like one o'clock in the morning, go and get a glass of water, and there's somebody stood in your kitchen, like you're like, oh man, what the hell? Did I see that then? <laughs> did you see that then? Um do you, uh, do you protect yeah, hang on a minute. Let me right. So we've got do you protection spell before you go out? Dark vamp. Yeah, I do. I say a prayer, I say a prayer, but I also in my backpack. Uh, I have a protection pack. It's got a crystal in it and it's had a spell done to it by Haunted Stories and Vicky, Vicky and Jason from Haunted Stories Investigations. They did that for me. And to be honest with you, every time I go out, I actually feel safe with it. it I don't feel like I brought anything back. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like it, re it really, really works. I do. That weren't no Bulldog Mox. That was Nighthawk. If you could invest anywhere, where would it be? I like massive, massive castles. I like massive ruins. Um, I like really haunted, like, like it's hard to say if it's really haunted because people, people could go there and not get any, any activity, right? But then somebody else could go there and get some good activity. And it's, it's different. It's different. So I would, I would like, like, I like murder investigations. Um, I like places like that, but I, I like castles and stuff, massive ruins. I love, I love taking the kids to them and I'd love to do, um, you know, do a bit of history, see if we could find any, like, um, any knights or anything like that and get some names and then see if they came through on any of my devices. That'd be pretty good. That'd be cool. That actually, um, anyone else into paranormal in the family? I think we're all into paranormal really somewhere or another. I think everybody wants to know what, what, it's like in the afterlife, don't they? I don't think you're ever going to find out, but to give you evidence that there is spirits and sometimes they don't cross over maybe. Like if you, if you watched um, that one where they did Timmy, the, uh, Jason and Vicky got Timmy. That was a mad one. They were a child stuck in the house. So that was a, that was a bit of a mad one. Um, yeah, Corgis. Corgis are nasty. The Queen's dog. Corgis are nasty. Um, what else have we got? And my little finger bitten twice in the same week. Do you know what? Them little dogs are nasty. Have you in have you investigated any night temple place? Mm, no, don't think I have. But things like that. See, I have I have a notepad, right? I've got a lot of places. So there's got there's a like there's gonna be a lot of investigations that map, yeah. I do have loads of places on my maps. So some have got like obviously like Knights Temple places, like you said. Um, some are like castles, some are ruins, some are haunted pubs, murder pubs, um, asylums, morgues, forests. I've got lords to do here. So what I try and do is mix it up. So I get like them ones when people really want to see them. But um, like I said, I try and get through them all because I've got quite a lot of them. Uh, saying that I've got quite a lot of them to get through so there's there could there's be thousands of, of episodes but i could have put i could have put an episode on for you tonight yeah but there's so many people asked me like quite a few people was asking me and said can you can you do a live because we really want to see what you like um because uh, people said they really want to see what you like and i thought you know what it's been over six months now i'll show you i'll show you what i'm like um you know if you want, if people already know who I am anyway, my name's Jay, so people already know who I am anyway. But for the for the people who don't, um, yeah, I take you to places like all over the UK that are known for hauntings, all sorts of stuff. So I'm not a faker. I don't do any of that fake stuff. I don't have, um, I don't, I don't agree with all that shit. But like I said, I'm old school, so I have a REM pod, I have a K2 meter, I have the bits and bats. All the footage I get is lit that you see literally. I um, just put it on for you so you can see it all. Because, like I said, I'm in it to show you guys these places. Because nobody's ever going to see these places again. Half of these places are going to get knocked down, yeah? 
So nobody's ever going to see him again. So what I do, get me camera, get me equipment, and I head straight for him. And then, like I said, people message me, you can't go there. I said, Jay, thank you so much for showing me that place. It was unreal. Um, yeah, there's no point. I, I went to an, I went to a property last week. Um, I think it was, no, it wasn't last week. It was, it was a few weeks ago now. And the whole house was just covered in fishing line. I was like, ah, getting strangled. Yeah. Um, anybody else want to ask any more questions? Oh, yeah, Moxley, definitely, mate. Listen, definitely. Um, I can't wait. Just, mate, honestly, just give me, just, just take me anywhere. As long as I can do it in a video and I get out and uh, get to see different places. Like I said, not many people get to see all these places all over the UK. So what do you want to know about me, guys? Is there anything you want to know about me? We've got 15 minutes left. The strangest place you have been. Oh, man. I've, I've been to some... Do you know what? They're all strange. They're all strange. I, they're all strange. It's when you find, like, when you go into, like, a warehouse and you find rope, like nooses, um, like nooses hanging from, like, stir wells and stuff. You're like, hmm bit weird or you go into like or you can go into like uh, basements and come up with door like find doors and there's all sorts like what would happen in here you know things like that they're kind of strange um but really i think every one of them's kind of quite strange when you um if when you went after a little bit they're like when they're all derelicts and stuff like that i think they all kind of look strange don't they or they all feel strange inside but it's a secret doors the um Tell you what was, I tell you what was a strange one, Woot and all. That was strange because there were doors in walls, right? There were doors in the walls, yeah. So we went up these like stairs, you press the door and there were doors in the walls. And then all of a sudden, um that you're going up into these like little tiny rooms. They were just rooms that didn't make sense. They weren't normal rooms, let me tell you that. So that was a bit strange. Um, if you could do an invest anywhere, would it be? Oh, man. right now, Shaz, off the top of my head, I can't answer that one because there's some really good ones. There is some really good ones. Um, yeah, there's some really good ones. Let me let me think about that one, Shaz. Mox, we could do return. Where's your, Ming, where's the next investigation? Ming, I can't tell you that. I'd have all these people turning up there when I'm doing a video. But I will message you and I'll give you a little heads up and we can go if you want to. Um, do you find it hard, Jay, to fit investigations with work and family time? Now, that's a good question. That. Actually, that is a really good question. Yeah, yeah, I do. I really do, yeah. Because um, like most people got work from eight till, say, five or nine till five or whatever. I don't do that. I have my own company. So I could be working till seven, eight, nine, ten from six in the morning onwards. So then I get home and then I try and have family time with, with family time in between editing a video and then investigating and then like I said, um, I try and do history on the place as well. But what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do more of is put a microphone in and then start giving you a little bit more history. I'm just learning a bit more about... Um, <laughs> I'm just learning a little bit more about editing right now so I can make these videos a little bit better for you and you can learn a bit of history along the way with me. Yeah, for definite. Um, I forgot... But yeah, yeah, time, Mark. That's the only thing that we don't have, mate. That's the only thing that you can't buy is time. So um, we only get one life. That's the way I see it. We only get one life. You get 100 years of your life. You waste it. And that's it then. Um, what was the point? You know what I mean? So I reckon, I think, I'm the kind of guy, I think, get out there, adventure. Um, it's not all about money. Um, it's about memories and pictures taking metal pictures and and doing the videos that's what i mean that's why i video everything because i want i want the kids to have these memories i want you to see places i want my kids to see places so that's what it's all about for me it's just about experiences um and seeing places all over the uk and getting out like i said get one life i don't want to waste it on shite i, I really want to enjoy it and i want you guys to enjoy it as well so that's why i video really yep I feel like i'm on a talk show you know Let's have a look. What else have we got? Mark, thank you, mate. I really appreciate that. It's been all right, hasn't it, you know? It's actually been all right. We've got 10 minutes left. Well, we've got five minutes left because you know what we'll do? We'll have five minutes 
before 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 Moxley's um, before Moxley's. But guys, listen, listen. Let me just let me just tell you quick though. Don't forget, good live, mate. Well done. I can see you're nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous as shit, mate. Honestly, it's it's new, but I'm into trying new things. Well, certain things. Anyway, I wanted you guys to see what I was like, and I wanted I just wanted to show you. You know what I mean? I wanted to show you. Um, who I really am. You've seen videos of me, you've seen me shitting myself, you've seen me having a laugh, blah de blah. So I thought, right, I will show you. Can't get him off now. Real live. I'm not going anywhere now, can But yeah, before I go, before, listen, before I go, I wanted to just say as well, the podcast. I want to actually I'll do a quick, a quick shout out. I just wanted to say um to the boys, Ming, Night Arc, Boxley, Haunted Stories Investigations. Um, I want to say I'll, I, I just say. Guys, listen, thanks for thanks for going out with us. I really appreciate it. Um, new things. Well, you know what it's like, Mox. I can't wait to try that new bike of yours, mate. But I just wanted to say before I go, why I've got five minutes left, um, we will be doing the podcast soon. Um, and it's called The Dark Room, so look out for that. We will have all sorts on it. We'll be talking about monsters. We'll be talking about new things that are coming out, new episodes that are coming out, paranormal Um Everything, guys, everything. Literally, we're just going to talk shit about everything that's got to do with the paranormal. We're going to bring... Jay, what advice would you give a novice investigator? We're going to talk about... One sec, Paul, mate. Um, we're going to talk about everything, so guys, don't miss that. Right, honestly, when you're a novice investigator, when you're going in places, be careful of the flaws, be careful of all that stuff. That's, that's the first thing you have to be doing. And don't entice as well. The people go in there and go, hey, you bastard spirit, or you shadow bastard, where are you? You don't need to be like that, mate. They have they have feelings. Your spirit is 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 your feelings. It's your emotion in it. So they have feelings, and, and you don't want to, like, piss them off straight away when you go in there. Sometimes you, you, you go into, like, like schools and they have bad, bad fucking spirits, you know what I mean, that have done naughty shit. Yeah, do what you're doing. But don't go in the, in the place all the time with that, like, yo, these spirits are naughty. Or angry because they're not because some some really just they just stuck there, mate. They're just stuck there. But if I were you, Paul, I would get just get your K2, get your REM pod, get a few things and just just sit there and just listen. Just like listen. Let your six senses open up first and listen. Because when the more you go in these places, like I said, I've I've seen stuff all my life and things like that. So when you go in these places, let yourself open up. That's why when we go in. And we, we'll spend like five hours in there because there's no point just going in for five minutes to get a video because that's not what we do. We, we're taking the whole experience in and showing you guys everything, yeah? So um, so when you walk around after after maybe an hour, you'll start picking up on these things and like not you'll you'll notice what noises are noises and are, are in the building and what noises aren't in the building. And then obviously, like your six senses pick up, you can feel things as well. You, when you're going in there, you'll feel like all your earth starts sticking up and you'll feel this mad pressure and then it'll disappear. Oh, you'll feel really heavy and then and then obviously it'll disappear. Um, can't wait for this podcast. Mate, listen, straight on it. Like I said, on the podcast, we're gonna get over chat, we're gonna get channels on it. We're gonna talk about stuff like that as well. We're gonna get other channels in so everybody can meet these other channels and we know they know what they like and they can see who they really are. Do you know what I mean? That's what it's all about. I don't see the point of just keep posting posting um these videos for you for, for everyone, yeah. And I just don't see the point to keep posting all these videos for everyone and you not know who I am. It's just like, yo, it's just a guy, he's the bald guy. He looks like Phil Mitchell who posts videos on YouTube, yeah? That's not what I want. That's not what I want. I want you to know who I am. I want you to like actually know the real me so we can chat. You can take advice. Like I just, you can ask me any questions. I do have the thing where you can actually ask me questions. Just go on Facebook, go on Instagram, um, message me through YouTube, whatever. I'll give you advice. I'll give you whatever you need for sure. I'm in it to help people. Um, it was when I first started doing it, it was shut paranormal. Amy, she said, uh, I, I messaged her and said, Amy, I don't know what I'm doing about the videos. She didn't know me either. Then um, I said, Can you give me a little bit of advice? She said, Yeah, I'll show you what kind of editor and that. And then, mate, I was on my way then, so I'm done. But yeah, if you're going to do it, be motivated, be dedicated, and just get out there. Don't fake shit. Um, just do it proper, do it proper, do it for you, do it for your, your, your members, your um. Uh, you, you, you people on YouTube, don't, don't, don't go in there with that kind of fucking, you know, my men, mentality. Uh, yeah, so let's have a quick look before I go. Can't wait. Blah, blah, blah. Turn into environment. 
Thanks, Jay. No worries. Honestly, Paul, like I said, mate, just just do it. Just you'll you'll feel it anyway, mate. You'll feel it. You'll know when you go in there. If there's something in there, you'll hear it or you'll feel it or whatever. So spend enough time in there, you'll catch something. Believe me. I've got loads of footage that I haven't put on that I've got stuff. Believe me. Um, no, you're welcome, sugar. Uh, what does your tattoo say on your arm? I've got a few. Got this one. I can, I'll tell you that one later. When I'm, I'll message you that one later. Uh, that one says uh, life. Then you turn upside down. It says death. Uh, Vinny Vidi Vici, uh, Carpe Diem. I've got quite a lot of them. Quite a lot. Yeah, so I'm glad that you like the live. Uh, Been a great live. Cheers, Mox. Enjoyed this. Thanks, Gerner. Thanks, Donna. Yeah, that's it, Mox. Honestly, listen, I can't tell you anything. I can't tell other people when you're doing things, just be yourself. That is it. People don't want to see somebody who's fake. Like I said, I was nervous when I first started doing it. But I'm more myself now, so you know what I look like now. So, yeah. So now you, now you know. But I'd love to do more. But if you join the channel, um, we've got raffles. You can you can win T-shirts. You can win hoodies. You can win champagne. You can win K2 meters. You can win REM pods. It's all coming to the channel. So become a family member, and we can do live chats together. We talk about all sorts of stuff. You can get advice off me and everything else. So... Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Gainer. Thanks, everyone. Right, so we all happy. Has everybody uh, had a good? Has everybody had a good live? Paul, don't be naffed off. I don't, don't have to keep to keep just keep doing. That's it, mate. Listen, Nighthawk. That's it, Paul, mate. Not not, not everybody gets sick. Not every location is going to have paranormal activity. They're just not all haunted. People going in with that mentality, every place that they go into is haunted. It is not. You could literally go home and your house could be haunted and you didn't even know more than these fucking abandoned buildings, you know what I mean? Yeah, so so just take your time. Spend a bit of time in there. Listen to what's going on. Shoe size. Catherine, you know the shoe size. I'm, I'm an eight and a half. I'm a nine. I'm a nine. I'm a nine. Um, right. She should already know this. I know, Nighthawk. Listen, I know. I tell her all the time. She's after. She's the one who keeps buying me the trainers and the stuff. Right. So is everyone? Is everyone happy? I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna do my thing. So I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who joined the live. I really enjoyed it. I was very nervous, but I just chat, chat, and chat. Don't I know? My ADHD kicks in, and that's it. I can't stop. So I uh, just want to say thank you. Great live, mate. Thanks a lot. Very interested. I look forward to watching you with some more investigations. Thank you, Shannon. Um, like I mentioned, you want to talk to me, you want to ask me any questions, you can message me. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all the social links. And um, yeah. Right, guys, I am going and I am going to head over and watch Moxley's Paranormal World now. So, guys, thank you so much for joining the live and I will see you next Wednesday at 7 o'clock. Not you channel members, I've got something a little bit for you this week, so I will see you this week. Right, guys, thanks so much. Jay has only one, only only fans coming soon. I have only feet, only mans. I've set a new account up called Only Mans. It's $2.99 a month. You get to see my feet. Right, guys, so I'm going. Thank you so much, and peace out.